Excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me. Is this taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. No, thank you. Excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me. Is this taken? No. <laughs> but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyway. No, thank you. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Would you mind if I sit here till he or she or it comes? They do seem to be pretty late. You never know, you might be uh, turning down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nice try though. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit here? Yes, I would. <laughs> Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Everyone else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. What's the I moment? just wanted to read in quiet if you don't mind. No, sure thing. Everybody else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Ah, Hemingway. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Ah, Faulkner? Have you read it? Not actually. I've sure read about it, though. It's <laughs> Supposed to be great. It is great. I hear it's great. Waiter, what's the book? The Sound of Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I'm a Mets fan myself. Have you read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? I went to only Central College. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was lying. I never. Uh, Really went to college. <laughs> I just like to party. <laughs> college. Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. <laughs> I spent an entire winter reading him once. Oh, I, just I was so excited after ten pages that I went out and bought everything else he wrote. One of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I mean. All that incredible psychological understanding, page after page of gorgeous prose, the way he's grasped the mystery of time and human existence. <sighs> the smells of the earth. <laughs> what did you think? I think it's pretty boring. <laughs> What's the book? The Sound of the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. I love Faulkner. It's incredible. I spent an entire winter reading him once. I was so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else he wrote. All that incredible psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And the way he's grasped the mystery of time. And human existence. I can't believe I waited this long to read him. You never know. You might not have liked him before. That's true. You might not have been ready for him. You have to hit these things the right moment or else it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the time. My name is Bill, by the way. I'm Ben. Hi. Yes, I thought reading Faulkner was a great experience. Yes. The sound and the fury. Well, onwards and upwards. Waiter, you have to hit these things in the right moment or else it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the time. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. So, do you come in here a lot? Actually, I'm just in town for two days from Mexico. Oh, Mexico! <laughs> My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. So, do you come in here a lot? Uh, every once in a while, do you? Um, no, not so much anymore. <laughs> not as much as I used to. Before my nervous breakdown. Did you come in here a lot? 
Just interested. Are you really interested or do you just want to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come in here a lot? Just getting acquainted. Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to your place, to listen to some music, or because you've just written some great tape for your VCR, or because you've got some terrific unknown Django Reinhardt record. When all you really want to do is make love, which you won't do very well, after you go to the bathroom and pee very loudly, then go into the kitchen and get yourself a beer from the refrigerator without asking me whether I'd like anything. And then you'll proceed to lie back down beside me and confess that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's been away in medical school in Belgium for a year, and that you've been involved with her off and on in what you call a very intricate relationship for about seven years. None of which interests me, mister. So, that's a no? <laughs> Did you come in here a lot? I come in here quite a lot, and I don't remember seeing you. You must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. It's amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? <laughs> sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? We were meeting you to break up. Mm. What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover. Here she comes right now. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? Do you think so? Well, sure. I mean, a good looking woman like you doing out all alone on a Friday night. Try to stay away from lines like that. No, listen. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. It's sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself. I guess I was just trying to think of it as existential romantic, you know? Cappuccino, great literature, rainy night. That only works in Paris. We could hop the late plane to Paris. Up on the Concorde, find a cafe. I'm a little short on plane fare tonight. Darn it, so am I. To tell you the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along since you can't locate a waiter? That's a very nice offer, but... Uh-huh, girlfriend. Two of them, actually. We're more pregnant. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> girlfriend. No, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Not if you mean that castrated bitch I dumped last night. <laughs> Girlfriend. Sort of, sort of. What's this sort of girlfriend? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> I just ended a relationship, actually. Oh. Of rather long standing. Sorry to hear it. This is my first night out alone. I'm a little bit seized, to tell you the truth. So you didn't stop to talk to me because you're in a cult? Nope. Straight down the ticket for a boat. Straight down the ticket, Democrat. Can I tell you something about politics? I like to think of myself as a citizen of the universe. I'm an affiliated. That's a relief. So am I. I vote my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels are not important. Exactly. Take me, for example. What does it matter if I had a two point, three point, four point at college? Or if I did come from Chicago, Champaign, Richland County, <laughs> sure. I believe that a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. I think so too. So what if I admire Hitler? So what if I once had a total body liposuction? So what if I don't have a penis? <laughs> so what if I once spent a year in the Peace Corps? I was acting on my convictions. You can't just hang a sign on a person. Absolutely. I'll bet you're a Scorpio. Listen, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? That sounds like fun. Let's play. A couple of the really early Jim Carrey movies. Oh, Jim Carrey. You don't like Jim Carrey? Sure, I like Jim Carrey. But you're not crazy about Jim Carrey? The early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. You know, I was headed to, oh, I'm sorry. No, what? 
I was just going to say that I was headed to the movies a little bit. So was I. The Jim Carrey movie? Just up the street. Do you like the early ones? I think anybody who doesn't ought to be run off the planet. How many times have you seen Ace Ventura Pet Detective? Eight times. Twenty-three. <laughs> so, are you still interested? Do you like Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell with extra sour cream, no lettuce, or tomato? Last night, I got in line at 1.59 in the morning to get one. <laughs> Did you have an etch sketch as a child? Yes. Do you like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> no. I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting. <laughs> Do you still believe in marriage in spite of current sentiments against it? Yes. And children? Just the three of them. Two girls and a boy? Harvard, Master, and Brown. And we love me? Yes. And cherish me forever? Yes. And do you still want to go to the movies? Sure thing. Where? <laughs>